Good morning, Red Lion. Yay, I missed you. Hope you're doing well. Anybody know what day it is? Yes! Fun Friday, fun Friday. Hope you're going to do something fun today. All right, so it's Friday. Look, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is the, what number is this? 24. It's the 24th. What month is it? Good. You guys are so smart. It is April. Let's say the whole day. Today is Friday, April 24th, 2020. So if today is Friday, what was yesterday? This comes before. Good. Today is Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. What year beginning of Thursday? What diagraph goes? My dog is here to say hi. Lola, move. Say hi, Lola. Good girl. All right. Thursday. T H. Good. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Let me pause this and get my dog. So what comes after Friday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Tomorrow is Saturday. What are you at the beginning? S. What season is it? Spring. Good. It is spring. What's the weather like outside? In my house right now, it's pretty cloudy. Cloudy. All right. Today is going to be our last day on fractions. So we're going to start by looking at my board. Okay? So I've got three parts to my board right now. I've got whole, see it's the whole thing, halves, two parts, one out of two. The square has two parts broken into it. And fourths. One fourth, four equal parts. Remember, we're talking about fractions, guys. Equal parts. I'm going to hold up a picture, and you're going to help me figure out if it goes under whole, halves, or fourths. Okay? Got to figure out how many parts are in each shape. All right, look at this one. Am I going to sort it under whole, halves, or fourths. How many equal parts do you see? And you know what you can do? You could pause my video, you could make this on a piece of paper, and you could draw the shape into the right category with me. If you want to do that, it's a great thing. So pause my video if you want to, then hit play, and we'll see if you sorted yours right. Okay? Where's this going to go? Well, it's got a line on it, so it's divided into equal parts. How many equal parts do I see? One, two. So it is going to go in my halves section because there's two equal parts. All right, let's look at another one. Let's look at this. How many, oops, can you see it? How many equal parts? Count them. Four, right? So is it a whole, halves, or fourths? Good. It goes under fourths because there are four equal parts. What about this one? What shape is that, first of all? That's a, can you see it? It's kind of dark, huh? What shape is that? It's a circle. Good. And this was a square, and this was a triangle, because triangles have three sides, squares have four equal sides, circles have no sides. All right, how many do you see? How many parts, equal parts? None, right? So this is a whole. So it goes under the whole, because you would eat, if I gave you that, you'd have to eat the whole pizza. Here you'd only get half, here you'd only get one fourth, one out of four. Okay, let's do one more. Maybe two more. What is this? How many parts do you see? 
And I can hold it this way, I can hold it this way, it's still the same. Good. This is halves, because there's two equal parts. One, two. All right, what about this one? What shape is this also? It's a rectangle, good. It's got four equal sides, two long ones, two shorter ones. How many equal parts do you see? Two. So does that mean it's a whole? No, because it's divided into parts, right? Does that mean it's a half or a fourth? Good. It is a half. Good job on that. All right. I'm going to quickly take my shapes down and erase. So what I want you to do, if you have a paper in front of you right now, I want you to draw a big circle for me. Draw a big circle on a whiteboard, on paper, whatever you've got. If you can draw something for me with a big circle. Here's my big circle. Okay. My directions are going to be put pepperoni, like on a pizza. This is a pizza. Put pepperoni on half of your pizza. Only half. Can you do it? Go ahead and you do it. And then I'm going to show you what mine would look like. So you can pause the video or you can, I'll wait a minute and let you try and do it. And you, with pepperonis you can just draw little circles or put little dots all over it. Alright, I'm going to show you mine. So half I can only do part of my pizza, right? Not the whole thing. So I might even draw the line down the middle to help me. Here's pepperoni on half of my pizza. Is that the only way you could have done it? I think this light is kind of making it dark, come in and out. No. If you had drawn your circle, and you could have cut it like that, right? You still see it? Or maybe you drew, you put your pepperoni on this side of the circle, or on this side of the circle. If I had put pepperoni over here, is that half? If I put some more over here? No, that would have been the whole pizza, right? So that wouldn't have been right. That, but if I had just done half of my pizza like I originally did, so I made half of my pizza pepperoni, right? And then I might give a pet. I don't like pepperoni, so I might give that to somebody who does like pepperoni, and then I'd eat the just plain cheese side. What about you? You too. Cool. All right. I'm gonna switch now to sharing my screen. We're gonna play a, a little game to end our fractions. Let me share my screen. There we go. And this is a game that you guys can go to online. It's on PBS Kids. It is pbskids.org slash curious george slash busy day slash dogs. Okay? So that's how you find it. It's fair sharing. Let's click and see. Let's play with George. George is training these dogs. Share the treats fairly by giving treats to each dog until they have the same number of treats. All right, so I'm going to pick up a treat, and I'm going to give one treat to this doggy, and then one treat to that dog. When all the dogs have the same number of treats, click the whistle. Do they have the same? Yeah, they each have how many? One. So each of them got half of it, because there's two dogs, so they each got one out of the two treats. Each dog got the same number of treats. Well done. Click the green button to keep playing. Let's do it again. All right, so remember how to do this. I'm going to give, there's four treats. We want to make sure we share equally, so between the two dogs. So, oops, I'm going to pick up. This dog gets one, this dog gets one, 
Now I got two left. So I'm going to go, this dog gets another one, and this dog gets another one. How many did each dog get? Two. So this is, this is my fraction. There were two dogs. Each got two out of four. So they, he got two out of four. He got two out of four. Each dog got the same number of treats. Well done. Click the green button to keep playing. Let's do another one. Oh, there's a lot of treats here. All right. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Am I done? So how many did each dog get? So three out of one, two, three, four, five, six. There were six treats. Each dog fair shared three to make it a fraction. So three out of six for each dog. That's it. <coughs> Terrific. Click the green button to keep playing. All right, let's do another one. Fair share one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Okay, let's see. How many did each dog get? Gosh, you guys are so smart. Oh, kiss it. Kiss that brain. Four. They each got four. How many were there in all? What's four plus four? Did you get it? Eight. Yeah, eight. So four and four. So four out of eight to split between two. We fair shared eight and each dog got four. So four out of eight dog bones. The dogs sure are happy with their fair shares. Nice work. Click the green button to keep playing. One more, okay? For fun Friday. This is kind of like a fun Friday activity. All right, last one. Oh, we got more dogs, don't we? We've got three dogs. Can I still fair share? Let's see. One, two, three. Did they each get the same amount? Yeah, each got one. So this is fair sharing between three. So one, two, three, each one got three. That's it. Terrific. It. Click the green button to keep playing. We're going to stop playing right now. Great job today, guys. It is Friday. What I want you to do to keep practicing this, all you have to do is draw something like my little pizza over here that I did. Make a circle, make a square, make a rectangle, cut it in half, draw like maybe hearts on half or pictures on half. You could make a house and only put half of the house with windows. Those are little activities that you guys can be doing at your house to practice that. You could dump a pile and fair share between two people. Make sure, see if you can split up, okay? That's some ways for you to keep practicing fractions every day. All right, guys, I miss you. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Next week, we're going to start talking about money. Money. See you next week. Love you. Miss you. Bye.